Hey, this is George with the Home Brewer and Home Brewing Company in San Diego. I'd like to give a quick talk about the different types of uh, ball lock versus pin lock connections. So if you're just starting to uh, uh, keg your own beer at home or do cocktails or coffee, what have you, uh, you'll come across uh, some terminology that I think will be helpful uh, to clear up here. So there's ball lock kegs, and we have some other videos on different types of setups, but ball lock kegs have these ball lock connectors where the uh, if when I pull back on this there's a set of little ball bearings in there that will come out and make it easy to lock onto the connector. There's also pin lock kegs and these just use little posts or sticks on the uh, connector on the keg and these kind of pin lock into place. Uh, the other big thing is that you have a barb connection versus a flare connection. Now a barb connection is pretty straightforward. Your tubing is going to go on there and you'll put a clamp, good to go. Flare connection uses a type of thread fitting that we call flare, and you can put on these flare swivel pieces, and you can actually change out the size of the barb depending on if you're using gas tubing, liquid tubing, or whatever you need. Now, uh, the other thing that I use to kind of help me keep my head straight on this is that uh, CO2 gas goes in, and that's usually a gray, so gray for gas, and then uh, usually uh, beer comes out black for beer. That's my cool little alliteration for you. Uh, otherwise, uh, those are the basics on pin locks versus ball lock. Really simple. It just depends what type of cave you have. And uh, if you'd like to hear more or if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Be sure to subscribe below and we'll see you soon.